Very, very exciting times, really interesting time, a lot of news. There's this, um, Devin Nunes has tempor temporarily stepped down from the investigation into Russia on the House Intelligence Committee. He issued a statement. Here's the statement. He said, several left-wing activist groups have filed accusations against me with the Office of Congressional Ethics. The charges are entirely false and politically motivated and are being leveled just as the American people are beginning to learn the truth about the improper unmasking of the identities of U.S. citizens and other abuses of power. Despite the baselessness of the charges, I believe it is in the best interests of the House Intelligence Committee and the Congress for me to have Representative Mike Conaway with assistance from Representatives Trey Gowdy, Gowdy and Tom Rooney temporarily take charge of the committee's Russia investigation while the House Ethics Committee looks into this matter. I hate, I hate to give them any leeway. I hate to give the Democrats an inch. They fight dirty. They don't care what happens. They don't care about the truth. They have joined, you know, we've seen, we have watched the incredible cover-up on the, in the media of this Susan Rice story, and I'm not even saying the Susan Rice story, you know, is that she was breaking the law or anything like that, just the absolutely lack of curiosity, the announcement, the announcement that this story was just a distraction. Let's play a little bit. We have some of the network news coverage. Listen to this coverage. It's, it's amazing. Let's try to unpack this whole unmasking controversy, sure. if it is indeed a, a controversy. As, as Cecilia said in the piece, unmasking legal, proper routine for national security officials. If that information were leaked, that would be a problem. Yes. That's exactly right, but there's not evidence at this point. It also goes to the intent of, of any unmasking. What's happening here is obviously it's the politicization of national security, an attempt to deflect from the focus of the, uh, the much of the energy point on Capitol Hill right now, which is the FBI investigation about possible Russian contact with the Trump transition and campaign. Um, but this is being pumped up by partisan media as something at least equivalent to validate the president's uh, claims. Um, and so course, expect a lot more to do snow. with the president's claims about nothing, wiretapping. Nothing. Nothing to do with wiretapping at all. But that distinction is not, is, is without a difference to most hardcore partisans right now who are desperately trying to either defend the president or, or deflect away from the, the main investigation. The White House and Republican lawmakers drag, dragging former President Obama's national security advisor into the conversation. Now she is firing back exclusively to NBC's Andrea Mitchell. Andrea, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Matt. Well, former Obama national security advisor Susan Rice is at the center of this new political firestorm, fanned by the Trump White House, denying to NBC that the Obama administration ever utilized intelligence for political purposes. It's the latest in a series of charges by the Trump administration that critics say are designed to distract from the Russia investigation. It's like critics say, critics, critics, some critics. There's yeah. guys got out in the street, Mr. Critic, Fred, Fred Critic is out in the street. You know, they don't even cover it until it's had to have Susan Rice deny it. There you have George Snuffleupagus, uh, Suckleupagus, the guy, you know, the Clinton operative, telling you, telling you it's a distraction. It's just a distraction. You know, it would be it would be fine if all the rumors about Trump collusion with Russia were reported in the same way as just an attempt. You know, if, if this is not up because going on and said, you know, oh, well, this is just the Democrats way of trying to delegitimize Donald Trump and they have no evidence. There's no evidence. But suddenly only when the scandal is on the left, do they suddenly is the question, where's the smoking gun? They don't ask that question when the scandal is on the right, you know, and it's just it is. It's absolutely obstruction. And now there's news, according to Fox News, there is news that legislators and investigators working with the House and Senate Intelligence Committee investigating allegations that the Obama administration spied on Trump associates. They claim that the intelligence agencies are also stonewalling efforts to discover who leaked names and protected information to the media. This is Hank Berry and our own Hank Berry and writing at the Daily Wire. Fox News reported multiple lawmakers and investigators for the panel told Fox News the CIA, FBI, and National Security agency, all agencies in position to aid the probe are not cooperating. You know who has this right? 